welcome dear learners to the new session of web technology in this particular session we will be learning key concepts of cascading style sheets that is css the learning objectives of this session are what is css css example advantages of css and there are some shortcomings and limitations or disadvantages of css cascading style sheets so what is css css is used to define styles for your web pages including the design layout and variations in display for different devices and screen sizes as the image represents the html is basic skeleton of the appearance of the web page and if we want to make some styling suppose in this particular image the object has some hair style some uh, apparel styles some uh, styles of clothes and suiting and shirtings so this is analogous to the web pages in which we want to design some layouts and variations in display for different sizes and devices for example if we are having an access to a web page and if it is in it is visible in any desktop uh, laptop or any palm top etc its design and layout will be different and if we are accessing this particular web page in some mobile devices in some uh, cell phones the design and layout will be different so cascading style sheets makes the significant changes in layout and variations so that it uh, is uh, very much good in display for different devices and the screens CSS is behind uh, all of the uh, reasons to display all these kind of characteristics that method sheets language that allows web designers to control how web pages communicate and with the web web browsers including the formatting and display of html documents in this particular image we are seeing various attributes for example color and this values these are all the stylings the various attributes which can be used for displaying of the html documents and these allows the web designers to control the web pages and how they can be communicating with other web browsers css for cascading style sheets is a text based programming language that specifies the format of a website and how it communicates with other web browser this language allows web developers to adjust the formatting and the presentation of html documents by adjusting various stylistic elements and features such as layouts colors and fonts so web designers have an access to change or to customize the layout colors and fonts in order to make its applications very much uh, good in features and it also allows the communication between other web browsers so it is uh, very much stylistic elements are controlled by the web uh, designers using css the main goal as the method sheet language was to separate the document content from the document presentation including style elements such as colors layouts and fonts css handles the design and it makes it feel like part of the website so the basic uh, functionality is to maintain the layout fonts and colors and it also handles the design and makes it feel that it will be a part of website use css to control text color font design spacing between the paragraphs column size can be controlled and layout and many more applications so the basic things which we have to recall is that the css is is to control the text colors font design spacing between the paragraphs if you want to make some spaces between the paragraphs it can be done by using css it can handle that and layout and much more 
So the difference between the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. HTML controls the layout of the content. It provides structure for the web page design and the fundamental building block of any web page. Second one is uh, cascading style sheet and it stylizes the website. It applies style to the web page elements, targets various screen sizes to make web pages responsive. Third is primarily handles the look and feel of a web page. So these are the stylizing the website content with the use of CSS. Now last but not the least is JavaScript. It increases the interactivity. So it adds the interactivity to a web page. The interaction are getting enhanced and added. Handles complex functions and features. Programmatic code which enhances functionality. These are the basic use of increasing the interactivity using JavaScript. Now we are having a CSS example, cascading style sheets example. Now doc type HTML that is tag, then HTML tag, head tag, then style tag. Inside it we have body, then background color. Background color is attribute and we have set the attribute value background color as pink. Then h1, this heading 1, color is white and text alignment is left alignment. Then paragraph, paragraph is font, family is Arial, we have put it as Arial. Then font size 20 pixels, then style tag is closed, again head tag is closed, then another body, h1 is the heading, again my first CSS style, then h1 is closed, then p paragraph, uh, tag p, then this is my paragraph and paragraph tag is closed again, then body tag is closed and HTML tag is closed. So CSS example, we are having the output as my first CSS style. This is my first paragraph. So these changes of the uh, height, width and uh, color, font, background color we have put. We have put the background color as pink, the heading one is in white color, then spa, spa Arial is the uh, font styling, then pixel size is 20 pixel and then there is a, there is another heading called this is my first paragraph. This is the paragraph and inside the heading my first CSS style. It is the uh, style of the uh, first uh, heading and the paragraph is again this is my paragraph and it is by default black in color. If we want to change its styles also, we can change it. And the background, of course, by using background, hyphen, color, and colon, then pink, we have set the background as pink. Now, let us discuss some advantages of CSS. CSS saves time. Write CSS once and reuse. The same sheet in multiple HTML pages, you can define styles for each HTML element and apply them to any number of web pages. So this is the basic advantage of CSS. It saves our time. So we can write one CSS and then reuse the same styling in multiple HTML pages and it saves a lot of time. So here we have this P then color, color is red. So this is the property. P is the paragraph or the uh, selection procedure which we want to implement and inside it we have color then red so here color is a property which we are using and this red is the property value so we are having the property corresponding to its value and this is the declaration and here we can use any of the property like here we have used the property as color and the property value we have set as red so in this particular paragraph we are having color red. So anything which we want, uh, it will be in the red colored property. So pages load faster. So second advantage of CSS is that web pages loads at a faster rate. Using CSS eliminates the need to write the HTML tag attributes every time. It basically saves our time 
and the page loads were in a faster rate. Just create a CSS rule for the tag and apply it to all the occurrences of that particular tag. So less code means faster download times. So here we can easily observe that the loading time is shortened, is less. Third advantage of CSS is it's easy maintenance to make global changes. Simply change the style and all elements on all web pages will automatically update. So here we have that background sometimes white in color, then we have the 10 pixels, it is size and we are having the examples to make global changes. Simply change the style, we can change the style and all elements on all web pages will automatically update it. So this is the basic advantage of CSS. Another advantage of CSS is that styles better than HTML. So it provides better, uh, better uh, styles than HTML. CSS has much wider range of attributes than HTML and can greatly improve the presentation of HTML pages as compared to HTML attributes. So CSS is rich and wider in range in comparison to HTML. It has improvement in the presentations of designs as compared to HTML attributes. Then multi-device compatibility style sheets allow content to be optimized for multiple types of devices. The same HTML document can be used to render different versions of the website for portable devices such as is PDA or cell phones. PDA means personal digital assistance, cell phones or for printing. So the compatibility issue is addressed by CSS. So it is very very advantageous to use CSS whenever we are having the compatibility issue of multiple devices. Global web standards, HTML attributes are deprecated in favor of CSS. Therefore, it is recommended that all HTML pages use CSS to be compatible with future browsers. So it is a, it is a recommendation that HTML pages should use CSS so that in future, if the browsers is having some different functionalities, the HTML pages then be compatible. So the HTML pages are suggested that CSS should be used for the compatibility with the future browsers. Now let us discuss some disadvantages of CSS. CSS, CSS1 through CSS3 causes confusion among web browsers. So there are evolution of CSS. December 1996, we had CSS1. Then May 1998, we have CSS2. And then June 1999, we have CSS3. It is recommended also. So uh, there is a confusion among web browsers than what kind of CSS it should be using. So recommended one is after June 99, CSS3 is recommended. Disadvantages of CSS again, with CSS, what works in one browser may not work in another. Web developers need to, compat to test the compatibility and run their programs in multiple browsers. So the, the disadvantages seems uh, in the condition, then what works in one browser may or may not work with another. So we have to maintain a general solution so that it can be run in multiple browsers. Web developers need to test compatibility and run their programs in multiple browsers in order to get the real situation. There is security problem also. There are so many security issues in CSS. After making changes, we need to check if they are compatible. Similar changes affect all browsers. This is one of the disadvantages of CSS again. The word of programming languages is complex, we all know, for non-developers and beginners. 
Various CSS levels, CSS, CSS2 and CSS3 are often quite confusing. So it can further make confusion in the minds of web designers. Browser compatibility, some style sheets are supported, some are not supported. CSS behaves differently in different browsers. Internet Explorer and Opera support CSS as different logic. Using CSS may cause cross-browser issues. In case we are having some functionalities which should be used in one browser and the another browser, that is called cross-browsing features and uh, using CSS may cause cross-browser issues. Here are some points to remember. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. CSS describes how HTML elements are displayed on a screen, paper or other media. CSS saves a lot of work, lot of time. We can control the layout of multiple web pages simultaneously. So here are some learning outcomes of this session. Learners have basic understanding of CSS with some examples. Learners are able to understand advantages of CSS and learners have an insight of some shortcomings and limitations of CSS. Where CSS is of less advantages, we have covered all that. So thank you so much learners.